Hi guys, welcome to Vancouver. Um, it's me, it's Alan, and it's my roommate. I'm Mohammed, yeah, nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Uh, we meet us in our hostel and we had good conversation. And guys, I told you I want to make a project about humankind and uh, I think he's the best person <laughs> to, to um, start with them. I paid lots of money to, to <laughs> have this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of, so I can travel more, not just kidding. Um, we met us and had uh, before a very good conversation. So, um, yeah, uh, Mohamed, tell us uh, who you are. Well, uh, I'm, I'm thankful for this opportunity. It's my first time in Vancouver and I'm glad that, that I've met you and I didn't have an annoying roommate in the first place. Uh, well, uh, I'm glad that we had the first conversation and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that, that you came up with this idea. It would be interesting, I'll try to follow it in the near future, hopefully uh, it's a good work, I'm expecting so. Well, about your questions, just to make it short, my name is Mohammed. I'm uh, I was born in Giza, which is in Egypt. If you know the, the, the pyramids of Giza, it's very famous, of course. Yeah, we know it. I yeah. hope so, for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, uh, I've lived in, uh, in Egypt most of my life, but I started for a bit in, in Canada and returned back to Cairo. And with the situations in the Middle East, I decided to, to settle here in, in Canada and immigrate to it. I'm living in Edmonton. It's a, a, a cold city uh, in, in a province called Alberta, just uh, next to, to uh, British Columbia. And currently I'm uh, on a, an educational trip to, uh, to this uh, Vancouver, yeah. Okay. Well, you asked me about uh, my job. I used to work as a physician back in Egypt and I'm working in my, on my license here. And one part of that is taking this course. Well, going to the serious questions. Okay. Uh, what about your perfect day? Wow, perfect day. Uh, I love the sea, so uh, I'm very here glad we that we, uh, we're here in this place. Um, I'm from, from Egypt, so uh, we're on the Mediterranean. And I love the Mediterranean Sea. It's of course more sunny than here. It's hot, so I'll be in wearing my my shorts, swimming perhaps, or yeah. So I would woke up in the morning. I'm a committed person. I'm a practicing Muslim, so I will pray in the morning, have my breakfast with my, uh, breakfast with my family, go running for a bit, and then I would uh, swim maybe for a couple of hours in the Mediterranean, enjoy a book, and then take a nap and eat uh, grilled fish and... Uh, Do you like grilled cheese? Uh, gri uh, gr grill? No, not gri grilled cheese, grilled fish. Grilled fish <laughs> and uh, jumbo, jumbo big ones, big uh, shrimps maybe. And then uh, in the evening I go have take a walk or smoke uh, shisha, yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, in the Middle East we like it. And yeah, yeah be okay. around my friends and my family. That would yeah. be a perfect day. For me. Yeah, that's I think also a very important uh, part. Your your child, uh, children. Yes, yes, of course. I have a family, yeah, and yeah, of course, having them uh, around me is always uh, very good for me. Cool, cool. Okay, uh, what are your goals in your life? I think this is a tricky question. I think this this goal changes over the time according to your maturity, according to your situation. At a certain part of my life, uh, uh, the goal was to, to, to marry a beautiful lady, for instance. Uh, sometime... You found her. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, lucky. Yeah, lucky guy. I'm lucky lucky that. guy, yeah, nice. <laughs> to reach this, point, this goal, uh, to finish your school. I finished my middle school. Now my goal is to have my license here in Canada. I don't know, and, and hopefully help my children grow up in a, in a uh, healthy society. Hopefully, hopefully I have more mature goals over the, the coming future. One of them, it's a secret, don't tell anyone. Uh, I'll, I wish I would work on a book okay. that, uh, yeah, that, that try, as you're do, trying to do, is trying to make things closer, try to explore my culture and make it clearer for people who don't understand it and people who don't deal with, with people from my civilization or from my culture. Hopefully I can make it. Now I'm here, I'm trying to understand the Western culture and uh, hopefully uh, 
this helped me mature enough to, to deliver my message. Yeah, 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 and uh, grew up with experience. Exactly, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool, cool. Uh, but, but, but you're asking about the uh, moment that influenced my life. Wow, it was the, the time when I, you know what, I didn't have uh, sisters when I grew up, so my wife is, is my friend, my sister, and my wife as well. Wow, that's love, that's love. <laughs> yeah, don't tell her. <laughs> and the time when she was having our second baby, yeah. uh, you know, the, the cord that connects the baby to the mother, it was, it was uh, twisted around my daughter's uh, neck and, you know, and I was really afraid that she would be affected and her heart rate dropped and and my wife was you know was training and fighting and the baby was fighting for life and I was standing helpless asking God to, to solve this this issue you know like I would like both of them to be safe right yeah yeah so yeah it, it was amazing the power of my wife I never thought that she's that strong you know and thankfully uh, everything went well so uh, this this uh, I will I will be grateful for those for this moment for all my life wow yeah, yeah. Uh, pa, 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 what does love for you well uh, I've, uh, I think I spoke enough about my wife yeah, so yeah. let's not uh, that, that's true love that's uh, enough yes my biggest worry is, uh, yeah, uh, of course, my children. Uh, actually, two things. It's difficult here for uh, immigrants, and to be an immigrant and a physician, it's more struggle. And the other thing is having your children. Uh, having your children uh, is kind of uh, like a part of you that grows outside. So uh, uh, you're not happy if they're not happy. So uh, it's more complicated now to be happy, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, your behavior is other, other when you when you have children. Of course, it's yes. different when you're alone. You know, like 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 our hostel. I can I wouldn't dare to have my wife and family in the yeah, same hostel, yeah. right? But for us, okay. It's okay. He's a man. Just take him. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, right. right. Yeah. We live on a crazy street in <laughs> Vancouver. Yeah. Never yeah. can believe us. We uh, can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's great. All right. And so I'm talking about um, satisfaction. It's satisfaction would be, uh, uh, of course, uh, I'm not uh, looking for fancy fancy things. But I'm, I'm currently I'm satisfied if, if because living in in. Uh, in a society that that supports you and and uh, give you some aid if you're not financially uh, very stable, I think this is the privilege that uh, I I have here. Um, and uh, satisfaction would be, I think, success. Like to achieve your goals is part of the satisfaction. So there are other things about satisfaction that I want to speak about <laughs> right now. And. Uh, what would you? He's do? really a nice guy. I think. <laughs> what would you do if you were president of the world for one president day? for one day? Wow! What's your plan when you, yeah, you've I got thought, this? Pause. I thought about this question. Well, uh, there is a a very uh, I think interesting and uh, important principle in, in Islam, which is that if you have a, th a certain wealth for a whole year. You have to pay 2.5% of that. Imagine you're having $1 billion. Uh, $1 billion, taking 2.5 of that would be $250 million. Yeah. Man, we will help lots of people if yeah. all the, the rich people in the world would pay 2.5 of their money yearly. The other thing is I would restrict and limit the uh, weapon, I don't know, uh, Selling weapons and between countries. What's exactly. the use yeah. of that? Yeah, yeah that's the true. other day, you know, Mr. Trump sold <laughs> 500 uh, sold the military weapons for 500 billion uh, billion dollars. Wow, almost half trillion. That's crazy. That could have changed Africa. Yeah, yeah. So I think right. people yeah. should should focus more on the positive things rather than. Uh, selling uh, military things and you know starting wars and all that and of course I would love rich people to to pay part of their money as an obligatory thing 
was uh, a topic people. what we speak before I tell him what I I have for a project and yeah. <laughs> uh, it was really nice to talk with him because uh, he had a good view about the world I think so maybe we've got a little I bit hope to you say, have the same yeah, I hope you have yeah it will be interesting to hear people think about this uh, idea hopefully one time of the world we will have people who think more peacefully and think of the world not of them uh, themselves yeah. yeah yeah think think of us as one one person uh, I spent with this guy a few days and he's from a different culture but at the end of the day we we enjoy it we make friendship we uh, we almost do similar things but hopefully hopefully people from from different cultures can have a similar experience one day yeah yeah and we're going close here wow to conclude what uh, do you want to tell the humanity in short state in short statement well guys we're so similar we 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 have one heart two lungs i'm a doctor so i'm talking in medicine and biology we have a brain we are influenced by by things around us let's let's be peaceful let's love each other no room for violence no room for terrorists those who control us and try to make things hatred grow and and try to separate us more uh, let's uh, this is our culture this is our generation we can we can communi communicate in ways that they never expect they, we can reach each other we can learn from each other i think i think we should work on being closer rather than uh, being different and i would love everyone to enjoy their life i would love each other uh, everyone to to support those who need support and i think this is one of the most happy moments when you when you feel that others you 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 mean something to others you support them you help them to overcome their problems this is the the, the real happiness with, for with, me with respect them um, yeah. of course of course yeah respect is everything yeah man that was really great thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you so much i really much. enjoyed your company i enjoyed this uh, video and i love to talk to uh, to you and uh, hopefully uh, listen from other people uh, in the near future i'll be following this blog hopefully uh, more people more people. enjoy it yeah, yeah. enjoy it thank you so much you guys okay. we will see us <laughs> bye bye <laughs>